Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. What a game we have for you today. They have become arch rivals in recent seasons. It's Chelsea versus Manchester United. A key game coming up this late in the season. The current league leaders take on the side in third place. Three points, an absolute must for both of them. Let's go straight off to Stamford Bridge. And I'm delighted to say it's a lovely, clear day in West London. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me, and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. Well, Alan, today Chelsea representing, if you like, London and the south of England, Manchester United from the, the football capital, the northwest of England. It's a, a wonderful prospect. It is. We've seen some classic encounters between these two, and there's been a bit of needle as well in the past. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Gary Cahill starts with John Terry as the centre backs. Emmanuel Matic plays with Ramirez in the centre of the park. Didier Drogba is the main striker today. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Ander Herrera plays with Michael Carrick in the middle. Wayne Rooney is the lone striker today. Oh, what a big game this is, Martin, in terms of the overall title race. First versus third. Might just be vital come the end of this campaign. Chelsea continuing to operate at the very highest level, the European Super Club now. Um, and no reason why they can't continue the success, are they? No, I don't think so. As long as Roman Abramovich is around, they obviously got a very wealthy backer. And, and they have established themselves now. They've obviously got to live within their means with the financial fair play and what have you. But... Uh, They've assembled a, a very strong squad. Yeah, under the auspices of Chris Foy, today's referee. Manchester United getting the first half underway. Mata. He's coming forward with some danger. Carrick on the ball. Michael Carrick has moved up the ladder. Very stylish in midfield. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. Well, he has a go. Oh, he's had a crack here. Well, it was all about making the right connection. He just couldn't quite manage it. Here's Fabregas. with his early challenges the referees penalized that one but this could change the whole complexion of the match he's been sent off and conceded the free kick in a dangerous position for that offense yeah, no complaints he denied an obvious goal scoring opportunity he had to go and well can they make something of this free kick Simple save from an ambitious effort. That's Philip Quetta. He is the governor general of this team. Passed it, gets it back, passes it again, wants it back. Ramirez. Nemanja Matic. Marvellous tackle. is there is through the middle it's going to be Chelsea's corner Aidan Azar in good form today he's playing very well he is playing well and uh, he's a talented boy and, and showing that consistently over the last few matches
it's one back. And uh, Herrera. Referee says play on and gives Manchester United the advantage. Mata. It's Carrick. Well, he's played it into the wide area there, played it well. He's gone in strongly and got the ball. Here's Fabregas. Ivanovic. His teammate, well, and he takes the shot just as well. Someone got in the way of that. Now he can cross it. Well held by the goalkeeper. Ivanovic. Here's Fabregas. Chelsea attacking here. Now they've got the ball back. What can they do from here? Fellaini. And uh, Herrera. Valencia. Chance for the cross. And he goes for goal! They've still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. Mata. Oh, and goes across. The defending here was top class in a difficult scenario. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. No doubt what yeah, the fans are talking about here at the break. The sending off. Yeah, and it was a silly challenge in many ways from a, a teammate that you would expect better from. So we've reached half time and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. And here comes the second half started by Chelsea. Now Drogba. Chelsea on the attack. The headset. It's a very good game here, a tight one. They're trying to get themselves into a position to take the lead. Cesc Fabregas. Ashley Young. Wayne Rooney. A little bit of a loss of balance there, but he's still upright. And Chelsea are now going to make a change. Throw in here. Substitution taking place. Chelsea ready to bring on a substitute. And uh, Herrera. Angel Di Maria. What a good World Cup Angel Di Maria had until he picked up that injury. Good work from the... In with a chance. That's an amazing overhead kick. The goal from Rooney. And you don't get many of these to the pound. Overhead kick, bottom left. Absolutely sensational. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. So 
after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. And the goal scorer for Manchester United, in the 59th minute, number 10, Wayne Rooney. It's Young with the ball. Wayne Rooney. A substitution, and it's Manchester United to make it. Controlling the play here, his teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man. Chelsea running out of chances now. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach stadium. now. Long it's balls it's into the box, from many angles. It's all about trying to win that first header. A corner coming up for Chelsea, and they need to make good use of it. And this is a key moment for the manager. He knows he's got the lead, and he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. And that's a very good save following the corner. Nemanja Matic. That's Filiqueta. That's Filiqueta crossing. A great contest this one and it should have a great conclusion as well it's so close Manchester United heading for the corner flag to keep the ball so often in these circumstances you see a little scuffle as the opposition get a bit frustrated the substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now Angel Di Maria. Now that's a throw. Ivanovic. Quadrado. Hazard. Belgium very much a team and the individuals didn't flourish too readily in their cause. And Hazard perhaps was one who suffered a little bit more than most in the World Cup of 2014. They're both fighting for the ball here. Well, they're wasting no time with the throw here. Michael Carrick. Jan Uzai. Antonio Valencia looking to find Carrick. That would have been a real chance for him. His eyes lit up and he lost his concentration because he was... Oh, well offside there. Well, I think he's seen the whites of the post and got a bit overexcited there, going too early. They know the clock is against them. The opposition is doing well against them as well. Strong header away again. That's 
Aspilicueta. Quadrado! And the goalkeeper well placed to deal with the header. Yeah, that was... Referee has called a halt here. And it has Ladies finished in the end, 1-0. Final thoughts, not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment is a key. Uh, and they've lost a game that they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So plenty of work on the training ground next week. So it's full time with a final score, 1-0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.